Hey Mills Nation! We are gonna do a mukbang today and just talk about life. So first I got a blended white mocha with caramel and then the vanilla whipped cream on top. But it's called like a blended blondie and it's like really really good. It's my favorite. What's cool about this place too is every month they change their whipped cream. Last month they had espresso along with vanilla that's always every month and then this month they have chocolate. The espresso is so good. I haven't tried chocolate. I'll have to do that next time. And then you guys, this is the food. It's some chips with like a turkey sandwich. So it's not just any kind of turkey sandwich. You put like a raspberry cream cheese on it as like a sauce with like mayo and lettuce and cheese. And then like I said, turkey. I take out the tomato and onion. Just gonna dive in and eat, I'm starving. Let's see if I can set this down. See that like raspberry? Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's take a bite, cheers. Hold on. <clears throat> You know, I always kind of end up taking out the lettuce. I just feel like, why is it there, you know? Because I just like the meat. I feel like, let's be real. All right, this is just with the meat. <laughs> cheers, you guys. Okay, let's see if I can get a good bite. I keep saying cheers and then nothing's happening. Ooh, yeah, that's a good bite. Okay, cheers this time. Mm. I'm really hungry, I haven't eaten today. I don't like the crust, so I always take off the crust. And the lettuce apparently too. It's just typically what I do. Oh my gosh, you guys, so much is going on in my life. It's crazy. My cousins are gonna be parents real soon. My baby cousin's gonna be born. I'm really excited on my mom's side. And then on my dad's side, unfortunately, my aunt, she was 99. She had Alzheimer's. She passed away. That's pretty hard. Oh, Winter Olympics. That's a thing. That's on TV right now. That's life. In honor of them representing US of A. <laughs> I don't really watch the Olympics. I watched a little bit of the ice skating and I should watch snowboarding. It looks really cool. It's pretty much all of that. Um, I love The Bachelor. They were supposed to make like a summer spinoff season, but they didn't because, you know, 2020. But I was like really, really looking forward to it, you guys. It should have happened. They did have a season of like a winter Olympics, bachelor winter games type of thing is what it was called like four years ago. Pretty sure, I don't remember. When's Olympics? I don't know. I feel like the contestants would find love, but none of them are still together anymore. Sad. There's everyone from different countries of Bachelor Nation, which was super cool. And I wish it picked up for another season or they did something with like Summer Olympics, but 2020 really got crazy, man. But man, that would have been so good. Bachelor. Instead, we just keep seeing like so many seasons of like The Bachelor, Bachelorette, and I'm just like, we need a change. <laughs> I love The Bachelorette more, obviously, because the men, but also the women, they just like, oh, the bad guys, know the good guys, they pick the right ones, they know what they want. Or like the men, they have a less like success rate with who they pick, yeah. I really wanna get into watching Joe Millionaire. That looks really good. I just don't always watch a lot of TV, honestly. I've not even been tuning in to uh, The Bachelor this time around, Clayton season. I did watch a couple most recent episodes, but I've just been like kind of keeping up through social media. I don't know, just over it. Peter's season, I was like so invested. I loved it. My very first season I ever saw was Juan Pablo's season, <laughs> which is like really funny because his season was very different. I remember watching it for the first time being like, wait, this is The Bachelor? I thought he was supposed to get engaged at the end. Like I was so so confused with the premise of the show because I watched like clearly the wrong season where like the season before him was Sean Lowe where like he got engaged and he ended up with his winner pick. It's just so funny. Like I didn't understand the show. <laughs> I had to watch like a couple seasons to really get it. And then my first Bachelorette season was Andy right after Juan Pablo's and then she got engaged but she didn't stay with that guy. But then I'm like okay I understand the show better now. And y'all that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and join the Mel's Nation family and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye. I love you guys. Mwah.